Now it's time for Who Does Alan Think Alan Is? Who do you think you are? Just to explain, the sense of that line was not properly explained to the voiceover artist before she went into the booth. Um, by the time I find out, she was already in a cab. Complete waste of 30 quid. She sounds like she's being touched on a bus. My main guest today is one of the genealogists from BBC One's Who Do You Think You Are? Please welcome Henry Spring. Hello. Our journey begins with your great-grandmother, um, Annie Partridge. Do you remember her? I do, Granny Annie. She died when I was a toddler. She used to make me chucky egg. Uh, egg and butter chopped up in a bowl. Uh, you can add that to your files. Send it to the boys at WDYTYAHQ. Who do you think you are headquarters? Oh. Um, well, like many women of her time, she was a stay-at-home mum, wasn't she? she? She was unemployed, yes. Uh, but what you might not know is that if we delve one generation further back, uh, we find she had an aunt who lived quite near here, so that would have been your great-great-aunt. It's fascinating. Please tell me more. She uh, lived in a semi-detached house in Sheringham at the very end of the 19th century. That must have been one of the first semi-detached houses in Norfolk. Uh, not in Norfolk, but it, it may have been one of the first in Sheringham. But that's still fascinating. That sounds a shiver down your spine. Do you want me to get you up? Rest in peace. Great, great, great aunt. What was her, what was her name? Uh, we don't know, we just have the initial E. Rest in peace. Mrs. E. Was she married? We don't know that either. Oh, well, rest in peace, E. Partridge. What was the uh, joke you were going to do? I, do? I was just going to say, shall I go and get you a hot water bottle? When you said you had a children in your spine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good, yeah. I think I was right to stop you there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Henry. I'm right, am I not, that my uh, distant relative was involved in perhaps one of the most important pieces of town planning that Norwich has ever seen? Uh, well, he worked in the office of town planner. Changing what was Deering Square into what is now Deering Lane. Uh, they effectively made it a thoroughfare, yes. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, the number of times I've parked on that road, never knew. I, mean, I know it's loading only, but you park there after six, so they, they never get you. It's... I almost feel like crying. <laughs> Certainly made getting into the centre of town that bit more straightforward. But, and the rest. If, if it weren't for Deering Lane, you'd have to come in on the ring road. I mean, it's just amazing that, that, a, that an ancestor man had to wrestle with that awful decision. I mean, on the one hand, you know, the square gave people somewhere to sit, a respite from the, from the frenetic pace of life in Norwich. And yet on the other, I mean, direct access to Hobbs Road must have been like the promised land to civil engineers, cutting journey times from the east half of the city in half. It was caught between a rock and a hard place. It must have been ruddy hard. I sent a shiver down my spine. Another one. That's the second one in half an hour. Um, uh, I almost feel like I, I, I should get a hot water bottle to reheat my spine. <laughs>